The first time I was told to go back to my own country, I was walking down the street. I had um, my child in a pram and I had a young child, I think he was like four, holding on to the pram beside me and I was just walking home. And there was a man on the other side of the street who had a massive dog off his leash and he had a metal leash wrapped around his fist. Uh, and then he was like, yeah, you. Yeah. F off to, you know, like, go back to your own country. And, and I was sure that he was going to do something, but he actually just came over and just shouted at me again, go back to your own country. Go going to try and not get, an emo and get emotional. But it was just, first of all, your love for this country, you, you don't know if your love for this country is bigger than the love I have for this country. I'm proud to be Scottish. This is my country. Aisha was born and raised in Scotland and found faith when she was 18. She has a YouTube channel where she often gets abused. You're a traitor, an extremist, you're dumb. You head towel, you ninja, get back to where you're from. You're an influenced little girl who knows nothing about the world. You're a victim and that's the reason why you turned. When I'm putting videos out online, the comments, the, the feedback I get is often more negative than it is positive. And that is just because I choose to be who I am. How often do people assume that you're not from the UK? All the time, every single day, every single day. And there's nothing more funny than being in a situation where people think that you don't even speak the language and they're speaking in front of you. If you were in a situation where someone had said to you that you need to go back to where you come from, how would you reply to them? I would say, let's go, let's grab a bus, it's just on the road. You know, my, my house is just in the road, so come with me. Do you want tea? Do you want to know more? The assumption doesn't offend me, it's how you treat me after that. Seeing something that's different, that there's a fear that comes with that. So it's the fear of the unknown. And I feel like that's why me saying, you know, come with, let's talk. I, I feel like that will take away that fear and then ultimately what you get is just two average people talking about differences in life. Aisha's story really hit me in a way that I didn't expect. Just being out and about with her, I saw firsthand the verbal abuse she receives. It was quite aggressive and othering, and I was really angry for her and at them.